Hey guys, Defendex Reality One here, back for another Destiny video. Um, today, I just thought, let's take a break and let's do something different. So, for today, um, my friends Dragonborn and Rapid Penguin will be joining me for a discussion on the Iron Banner gear. And we're going to decide is this gear worth having? Now, the, to decide that, we've of course had to get the guns dropped for ourselves and then test them out on a few different drops. So, see how good they are when they drop from Iron Banner or see how good they are for when you buy them from Lord Saladin. Now, I'm sort of both ways at the moment. What about you, James? Well, for me, it's 50-50. It depends what sort of perks you get. I mean, yeah. for me, um, a lot of the guns I quite like. I mean, especially Dangerous Retort, if I pronounce that right. Um, not only because it's a really overpowered shotgun, but I've noticed something very interesting. When you buy it from Lord Saladin, and you compare the stats, the stats are near enough the same as the found verdict. So what does that indicate? Does this mean that Dangerous Retort could be a year two version of the Found Verdict? What do you think, James? True, but when you think about it, this is from a raid, but it doesn't mean you can't get it to drop the exact same perks as the Found Verdict in game. And they both had to drop, if you remember. Well, it's 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 like the invective. The invective is like you know, it's it's a fluent sort of thing. The shotgun, you sort of you know have to pump it. But I can understand where you're coming from. Alpha team. I mean, so far, the Iron Banner's been pretty good to me. It's been giving me a mixture. I've, I've had a mixture of stuff I can use in PvE and PvP. Now, one problem. Not all of that stuff is overpowered and we have not seen all of the Taken King gear. Not all of it has dropped before. For me, I have not had any of the new gear drop, like... None of the stuff that hasn't been Zord Saladin hasn't been selling. I mean, for me, um, I personally wasn't impressed with the hand cannon until I got some explosive rounds on it. I mean, with explosive rounds, it makes it a free body shot kill. And it also makes it a two headshot kill. And I was particularly impressed with that. Um, yes, it does mean... Um, does it, just because I'm sucking in the Crucible, just like everyone knows, does not mean uh, it's bad. I'm just a bad Crucible player. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, so carry on. The gear is still decent. Uh, the Iron Banner, right. Is it worth the grind, though? Is it really worth the grind, the guns? Are they worth the grind for something related to Year 1? Now, that depends on the type of player. Did you really like, if you compare it to sort of guns and you find out, you know, could I get the gun that I had in year one? And you think, is what's the chances that would happen? Or is Lord Saladin selling it? Uh, most players probably would, because Galahorn was like a relic to everyone. It was like the godly weapon, and now it's like a relic. Lost. I mean, two people, it is, still is the god yeah, weapon, but they didn't pull... They, they, did, they clearly indicated they weren't planning on pulling it through to year two any time soon. Yes, we all love Galahorn. But that's moving away from the subject. Now... Although the Galhorn seems to be very related to Iron Banner, James, it isn't as related. Like, it looks like it has the Iron Banner markings and everything, but it's not as related to Iron Banner as you think it is. 
But yeah, so I can see what you mean. You know, if, if it was someone, like, say it was someone's old favourite weapon in year one, like, say, like, they even preferred it more than the Galar one, they would grind for it just in the hope that they might get it. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Um, yeah, you, you would grind for it, wouldn't you? I, I mean... Yeah, like a free game where you can win absolutely everything you play. Here is all the DLCs. That that's like what they're giving you. If it's like if it was like your best gun in year one, you haven't found any in year two. It's actually worth having. It would be worth it. I mean, yeah, that'd be so true. I mean. But honestly, the impact um, and the range and the stability on the Iron Banner gear and the fire rate is key for me. I mean, the stability, uh, yeah, that doesn't really matter as much on some of the guns to me. But for most of them, something like Nerwin's Mercy or um, the Auto Rifle, stability would be key. Because if it has all the fire rate that it apparently has, then... You know, of course, it, you know, it's going to be good. The problem is, does it outmatch the Red Spectre, Ash Factory, and Party Crash? Do they outmatch them? You know, do they outmatch some of the gear you can get in the Crucible? Well, the Iron Banner, does it match out, you know, does it beat the gear you can get in the Crucible? Or would you rather grind from the Crucible get Ash Factory, Party Crash, it, or Red Spectre? Now, quite honestly, in my opinion, I would say grind the Iron Banner, because the perks on them, you don't know what's going to drop. Um, for the Iron Banner, at least you've got a bit of a higher drop rate. The, the guns can be very, very powerful. And at some stages, um, sometimes it can get very intense, you know. And some of the Iron Banner guns can get you out of them situations. But um, that is very true. It does come down to the thing of: Are you a Crucible player or are you a PVE player? Now, if you're, for me, if you want something you can use in PVE and PVP, um, I would sort of go for it because I mean I've had some pretty good gear from the Iron Banner, which I've managed to use in PvE sometimes, and PvP. Mostly PvP, but I've still managed to use them in PvE. So what does that show? Yeah, but we're not here to talk about me, gents. We're here to carry on talking about the guns. So people aren't interested about the guns. Well, they're interested about the guns, but they're not interested about, you know, what type of players we are. Yeah, Fallout Auto does sort of give it, it seems like it gives it a small buff to its fire rate. Not like the most epic one you want. You know, it's not the biggest ever thing you want, of course. But now, so, so, so far with my past experiences and current experiences in the Iron Banner, for me it has been worth grinding to level 5. I mean, as I'm pretty sure most of the players agree, it would be worth grinding, because otherwise why would people be playing it? But, you know, usually people grind it for the 320 weapons. Do you know if they actually grind it for the guns or not? Here's another question. Now, there is legit, like, plenty of things you can do with the Iron Banner guns. I mean, with the Iron Banner guns, you can multitask. I mean, there's, there's a range of rapid fire, uh, low, low rate of fire, high rate of fire. No wind's mercy. High impact, low rate of fire, but then there's the auto rifle. High rate of fire, low impact. And then there's the hand cannon, which is like very, let's say short range, but it's, it's quite powerful in everything else. I mean, it's not like you can use it at sniper range or anything, but 
but it is good. You know, it's not like if you get it to drop with Fatebringer's perks, that it wouldn't be worth, not worth using because it isn't exactly the same as the Imago Loop, you know, or the Fatebringer just because it's not in the same shape, or it doesn't look like, or the impact levels might be a bit different or something. Doesn't mean it wouldn't completely feel like the favorite. Right? I mean... Yeah, I mean, you can get some good kills in it, but... If you, if you want those really bad all-round players, you know, if you just want to play PvE, don't go for the Iron Banner. Because the gear, it's worth getting, but if you're the sort of player who doesn't like PvE, and, you know, wants something which will be okay in PvE and PvP, but isn't going to be, like, the best thing ever, it's not worth grinding. I mean, yes, but James, you can't really take that prize away from the dangerous resort. You can't really take that prize away from the shotgun. I mean, shotguns, you know they're meant to be up close and personal. And with stuff like the Invective, you're not going to get the insta-kill. I mean, it's still got some really powerful range, you know. Some sort of stuff better than Patch A, Party Crasher, and, you know, even maybe, I don't know, the Invective, you know. Maybe it has more effective range because of the impact. You know, you don't know what could happen, James. But there is legit, if you, if the chances are, right, for me, so far, the Iron Banner has been all stress, nothing really, really, you know, sort of powerful I could use, like something I could smash around with and destroy everyone with. It's, it's been more torture than it's worth for me. Because, yeah, I've had some good rolls on, but... You know, this, it's sort of the armor, really. I'm, I'm more interested in the armor. I mean, the armor looks looking badass, but can it live up to its look of the badassness? No. Would it be as badass as it looks? Not really, because you can't really get any special rolls on them. They're just average piece of armor that look different. But guns, they're all different and they're special. But only really good for Crucible. I mean... Yeah, as I said before, they're a decent PvP weapon, but they're not the best ever. You're not going to be able to beat whole wars, I mean. If you want something you take with a whole horde, you want something like my the Molotov. But, really, it's, it's a balance. It's a balance, right? Because they're about, the Iron Banner is about a balance between the two. That's what makes it good, the fact that it is a balance between the two. So, it's sort of worth grinding, but it's sort of not. Oh. So, for me, if if you're not that sort of person to like PvE or PvP, um, if, you, if you just want to play all out PvE or all out PvP, you do not play the Iron Banner. You can play it for the armor, you do, but you don't play it for the guns. Uh, we're reviewing, we're sort of reviewing the Iron Banner all round. But yes, the shotgun, to me, leave a comment section below if you view this video and you've enjoyed it. Do you agree that this could possibly be the new year two found verdict? Leave a comment section. Leave a comment in the section below. If you've liked the video, please like and subscribe. We will see you in the next video.